What's going on guys? Lou Dude back here again. Well this is day two of the coil over install. Well in my previous video I had discussed tearing all this out not tearing it out, taking it out and then um putting coil overs in, well I had got the old shock out, which is right here. So I'm gonna get this all cleaned up and then um and then put the new coil overs on but that's later on right now I am currently doing or just started doing the other side so this one's still in as you can see so I haven't taken that one out yet but that's what we're gonna do today for day two so um and while I was up to here I was noticing look at this that's not this isn't healthy. I need new gaskets and stuff and all that, so I need to get all that taken care of also. So yeah, that's disgusting. So that's another part on the list that I have to get done, but like I said today we are doing the driver's side front. And then eventually get into the back but um yeah just a little update so but got it all taken out for the passenger side front and the way I had to do it was had to unbolt these from the top here because I was not able to get that out so and I tried the sway bars right here um, I was able to bust this one loose and get it out but this on the other hand I was not able to get loose I tried everything, I was just rounding the nut, so I just stopped and I was like, um, I've done this before, what am I doing? So I found it ten times easier just to pull this off and then oh, look how bad that is you guys. This is dirt fault, that's just that's just wrong. Um anyway, pull these off from out from underneath and then take it out that way and it worked great so um, the brake line is a pain in the butt like it was on, this, on the prelude so you gotta weave in and out just to get it through and then out so but I eventually got it out and then let me get this all cleaned up cause this is disgusting we don't want to put all that the new uh, coilovers on and make it all look nice just to have it get dirty again so get this all cleaned up and looking good again so I'll get these refreshed and then get all this refreshed also and put it back together so it's a little update, but here's one of them. I'm kind of excited to unload this, so that's going to be interesting. These aren't loaded as bad, but I'm assuming the rares are going to be pretty loaded because I had the same problem on the Prelude. Um, the fronts were not as loaded as the rears 
so those are going to be interesting to unload but like I said I have a garage and I have every tool I possibly need so I will be unloading them in a safer location and in a safer way so but right now it just looks like a hot mess so um and on my way of taking the driver's tire off I noticed some radiator fluid hanging around by my <laughs> by this pulley right here and it was just suspended focus um, it was suspended right can't get to it right there see you have those two bolts then you have the pulley and then you have that part right there well the radiator fluid was all hanging at the bottom right there so um I'm gonna assume that's just leftover radiator fluid um because if not um, I'm probably looking at a new water pump, so, I'm hoping, like I said, it's just lingering radiator fluid, but I wiped it off and give it an hour or two and then I'll come back and look at it, and if so, then, um, I'll have to change that, but I'm also noticing the missing bolt that's supposed to go in that hole right there. So, like I said, the guy, he didn't put this engine in correctly. This is a mini-me swap, and this is not how you swap it. So, um, I will have to get that all looked at and then get back to you guys, but I'm hoping that's just lingering radiator fluid and not something more serious like water pump so if you guys can give me some info on that that'd be great but as you can tell oh there's a bolt missing so yeah but one thing at a time I will attack it so oh Stay tuned.